What is happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So I'm pretty excited for this. As you guys know, I was a really big fan of Origins. I thought it was a very refreshing take on the Assassin's Creed franchise. And here we are with Odyssey, which we didn't know at the time, but the second studio was developing this alongside Origins. So even though it's only a year later, this game's actually been in development for over three years. Um, obviously, RPG elements have been added into the game. I have played a little bit of Odyssey already at press events and whatnot, but I didn't bother uploading any of it because I wanted to save all the hype for right now. Ooh, man. So on top of that, we did do a poll on the community tab on the channel. If you guys don't know what that is, make sure to check it out. I frequently post weekly updates there in terms of what to look forward to on the channel, as well as polls to get you all engaged. But let's get things started off. As per the poll, we're going to be playing through as the dude, and I'm ready. Going back to Greece, baby. Best lore ever. We are ready, my king. Tell me, the Nekis. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Damn. You just one hand and broke that man's neck. X is my dodge. Ooh, Sparta kick. Okay. Ooh, I don't know what the hell that was, but did some work. Full rush. This kind of looks like, uh, oh man, like the old power mode, where you pop it up and get a buff. So right now I have, uh, it's like a flash bomb it looks like. I got, yeah, it's like an AOE flash bomb. I got the bull rush. Oh, 
I know they changed parrying. You got to do like both triggers, I think, now to parry. Yeah, and as you can see, you know, we have special abilities and whatnot. Very different from, you know, the Assassin's Creed we know. Like, I still don't think they should call it Assassin's Creed. They should have just named this game Odyssey. Made it a standalone entry. Cool. So you can tap X now for a fast dodge or hold it to do like an extended roll. will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Yeah, we are off to a brutal start in a way that I am 100% on board with. Layla, did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so, worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization, if you're up for it. Um, you like pain, this will hurt. You'll come out, the other should be the champion. Uh, optimizing how you choose and upgrade your abilities and gear is mandatory. Well, to be honest, I think I'm gonna do hard. Because... If y'all remember how the bosses were, I think we played Nightmare with uh, the DLCs for Odyssey, and it was basically like you would just die in one hit to everything. So we're going to start with hard, and if it turns out that things are uh, face roll for me, we'll bump it up to Nightmare. But usually Nightmare, well, I guess, you know, we could start. You know what? Fuck it. Let's start okay. with Nightmare. We'll start with Nightmare. Everything this baby's got. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. And we'll tune it down if we need to. I can always change the settings later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Traditional markers are displayed at all times. Quest objectives are given to you automatically. A newer approach to playstyle. The user must investigate the world to uncover targets and quest objectives. This is the way it's meant to be experienced. You don't need to worry about me. I've got this. A little autonomy never killed anyone. At least, 
I don't think so. Just let me know if you need assistance, and I can always add the helpers back in. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. And as per the vote that we had in the community section, we are gonna be playing through as Alexios. He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. And we go. Face. Get down here. <laughs> oh, rude ass. Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week. <laughs> Malaka. The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough. Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach you, tell him to come here himself. Alright, Nightmare should be fine. Given these guys were only level one. Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. <sighs> what happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll 
try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. <laughs> so, Marcos, who owes me drag me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. My head. The choices you make will have impacts both seen and unforeseen. Consider your options carefully, as some affect the story and are permanent. I mean, they're just punks. I don't gotta kill these guys. Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak. If he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos as soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Let's get Movement this smooth. Far. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. Okay. I like this. We have... A, it's a full-blown, like... There's basically a full gear set now. Like, you know, gloves, helm, torso, waist, legs. I'm pretty sure there's set bonuses as well. Obviously, the multiple different weapon types. Like, there is so much to this game, dude. Bought a new vineyard. He's in the southern part of Ainos. Locate the next objective using the quest hints. Top left corner. Uh, once you decide on a location to explore, press A to place a marker. New vineyard. He's in the south part of me. He's like down here, probably. This is really cool. Like I can already tell. This is gonna. This is going. This might go on as long as the Witcher did. Especially, like, without having quest objectives and just being able to, like, freely explore the world and see what it holds in store. We're gonna wander out that way and we got different markers. Let's go towards this marker. I mean, Egypt was cool, but, dude, Greece is, like, Grease is just fucking awesome, man. To the lost bandit. Bad guys? Is that a bad guy? Are you a bad guy? Oh, you are. Oh! <laughs> got him! Uh, Alright. Let's see what we have. There's a treasure here. I might... Um, Hang on one second. I want to... I want to turn off some of the HUD. Get more like of a minimalist HUD. Um, uh, for those curious, of course, we are playing Ultra High. Um, ultra High on 2K at that. Um, doing pretty good. As you can see, we're pulling around 60 FPS uh, 2K Ultra, so not too bad. Uh, once I get the RTX, I'll probably start recording it in 2K as well. But uh, for HUD, show all, light, minimal, disabled... No, I think we want... I think I want light. Light sounds... Meekerous and Phoebe controls off. Graving challenges off. Their health off. I mean, uh... Oh, so what is this turning off exactly? Fight damage numbers. I like that. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll just need to... I'll need to fuck with this later. Um, right, back warning. 
It's basically what I wanted to, what I was hoping for was like an adaptive HUD where it's like, you know, like while I'm sitting here, like basically so begins and all that vanishes off the screen and, you know, um, like certain, basically unless I'm in the middle of a fight, get rid of the extra crap that's on the screen. Get to the lost bandit. There's got to be a treasure like right around here somewhere. I'm overlooking it. Can't go through there. That's a little weird, but whatever. sword. Great! Wooden swords are what I want for sure. Uh, inventory. For blacksmith to engrave. I mean, I'll take the bandit sword over the... Wait a minute, does it actually do more damage? It does, wow. Or hunter damage, warrior damage. I'll keep warrior damage. So is that area that's that's knocked down? Yeah. I don't have a bow yet, so there's really no point in that. Sorry. Just, uh, you know, exploring. Oh, there we go. One of those things. Vision on everything. Well, this is where I originally marked. Let me go down here and see what, what this all is. It looks like an underground temple kind of thing. Fish. Should be right around Ooh. just regular loot. It's right around here somewhere there's gonna be a treasure chest. Some easy money while I'm here. That's good. There we go. Yeah. Procris necklace. It's a quest item. Huh. So that'll probably come into play later. I'll already have what I need for it. Um, so looking at the time, I think I might just go for like an hour for this first episode. Just to, you know, more than anything, really give you guys a feel for the game and the world and kind of what to expect. Kick, kick the chair back, put my feet up and it's gonna explore for a bit. over here get the vision so I grab that It'll probably be a little bit easier to find in these vineyards star observatory oh 
Oh boy, here we go. Oh man, I got no business fighting this thing. Nope, 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 nope. You can see, I didn't even tickle that thing's health bar. I was just like, nope. I'm just gonna turn around right now. Go away, doggy. Sorry, dude. Oh man, that wolf that just killed that guy. I don't. I'm a level one, and I'm on the hardest difficulty. Like, I'm pretty sure if this thing touches me, I die. Ship came sailing. Southern part of Mount Ianos. So here. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Mr. Wolf, I'm sorry, please don't! I mean, the the difficulty I chose aside, this thing is four levels higher than me. So it's not that surprising. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it bit my ankles! Uh, yeah, I guess let's reload the latest save. I really hope the latest save isn't me getting the tower, because the Frickin' wolf will still be there just waiting for me, man. <laughs> Shit, it is. Okay, I need to get, get out of here. figure out what the command is to roll, but I managed to juke the wolf, so... That's, that's, uh, that's progress. <laughs> uh, let me remark that spot, that Mount Ianos, so somewhere over here. We're gonna head over there, find, uh, find Marcos. Oh no, 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 no. Lexios, you gotta be a lot faster, man. Ooh, ooh, oof, that dodge. Get the goat instead, get the goat. The goat is way better than me. Kill alpha animal. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. I can't even kill the regular animal. Please leave me alone, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. level is it? You guys see it? Look at that. It's like a gray wolf. I just want to see what level this thing is. Oh, it's level one. Okay. So I could take these guys out. But I gotta watch out for the level fiver. Oh, one button. I don't know if you can plunge and assassinate a animal, but we're gonna.
Oh my god, it's the five. I'm sorry, doggo. Best thing to do is going to be to get out of combat, vanish, and then loot those corpses. Because this wolf is here to, I mean, it's here to kill me. Does not want to give up. I wonder what the, there's usually like a... roll maneuver I can I can do and I really need something to get rid of this guy Lots of wolf fur from that guy. Alright, let's go. Use sword, use knife. That stuff good. Bow. I think... I think we've evaded the killer wolf. The Star Observatory. Hang on. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. Oh, but there's another dot right here. Let's go see what this is. Cave of Tethys. Should be a, a new sword I can use. Yes. 14. I mean, it's better than a bandit and a wooden sword. Four warrior, four hunter, four assassin. Make our way to the winery. going to be so much to do. We got this. We have Red Dead coming up. We got Fallout coming up. Like, it truly is the season of RPGs.
Town got burnt down. I gotta shoot over there. I'm missing where I'm supposed to go. What's happened here? Yeah, this does not look good. I'm guessing some raiders. Raiders or Persians. Probably the vineyard. Is there a treasure here to get? Something survived being burnt to the ground. What is it? Ooh. Wasteband. You're carrying unused equipment. Dismantle them to receive resources or sell them for a quick profit. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. These wolf okay, level two. Alright. I'm like, ah, anytime I see wolves now, I'm like super like, ah, do I wanna do I wanna go near these? But yeah, level two. definitely need to get like geared up. I think the big thing here is I don't have um I don't really have like any armor on, so my guy's like hyper weak, like stuff just pokes me and I'm on the verge of death. See you stealing items. Ain't nobody seeing me steal anything. I don't know what this is. The uh, Angamata Ostrakaka. Ostraka. Uh, I mean, Lexios wants it. Let's get it. Gotta be something good, right? Times are bad, it can't be easy to turn away from the gods. Go to the burned temple in Kasaus's village in the cursed valley of Pali. I can be found in a pile of burning ashes where worshipping man left his post to begin a new life as a pirate. Like a puzzle. Burning village of... I wonder if that's referring to the treasure that I had already picked up, though. Oh no, let me see. Odyssey, so it begins. It's main quest stuff. Uh, part of me wants to go back over there and see. It's only two hundred. Let's go back over there and see if if there's something else I can grab. Just because I feel like that thing I found is the equivalent of the uh, scrolls we had in Odyssey, where they were like puzzle stuff. And I've been on this like weird puzzle kick lately where I'm really enjoying. Damn, I gotta figure out what it is. I'm trying to do X, A, and B. Um, neither of those have managed to do the, the roll upon landing, but it could be that it's now a skill you gotta pick up. All right. Where's it at? Where's it at? Okay. Go to the burn temple. I can be found in a pile of burning ashes. Burn temple. I mean this in a second. Because that's that's a temple. Very clearly the temple. Is there anything else around here? be found in a pile of ashes but I feel like it's actually s something and not just 
Because the whole eye can be found in a pile of ashes. Like, that's a whole blown treasure chest, you know? Oh, no, here we go. When times are bad, it can be easy to turn away. Ooh, engraving unlocked. Three adrenaline per hit. Ooh, okay, all right. Nice. And considering we use adrenaline to execute all of our uh, our moves, that's a pretty snazzy early pickup. So now we go to engravings. Complete the following challenge. So there's different tiers. Ooh, so three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen percent adrenaline per hit when it's maxed out. And I wonder, are these just uh, visit a blacksmith to engrave gear with these perks? Nice. There's like a max min system. You could do adrenaline builds, crit builds, it looks like. I mean, a dual wield crit damage, crit hit build could be pretty spicy. I want to do this first quest. I feel like I want the XP, but at the same time, it's like we've spent, you know, 40 minutes basically just kind of exploring around. Um... I feel like it'd be good to just keep doing what we're doing, you know? I'm in no rush. Like, seriously, this game is, is not going to be done anytime soon. Uh, based on, on initial projections, I'm thinking this will be like another Witcher 3 type thing where it's just episode after episode and it goes on for a long time. So hopefully you guys are, are going to enjoy watching it. We'll find out, I suppose. Rocky Cave, what do we got in here? Please don't be level 5. Lightning Zeus, it is. It's level 2s. Oh! Oh, ah, shit. I dodged the one, didn't see the other one coming in. Ugh. Oh, I'm going to hold F, because uh, I, I really do think that a uh, main part of why I'm getting hit so hard is because, you know, we take a look at my gear right now, and you know, I have no helmet, I have no gloves, I have no legs, I have this, this, I don't have a shield. Are and you I, watching for me? And so I be careful. I think as soon as I get geared, you know, I'm not going to be getting just dunked on as hard as I am now. Um. I will say, leveling up through just doing like side content while ignoring the main quest, it feels like uh, like that South Park episode of WoW where they're like, oh, we can just keep killing the boars and level up all the way. Oh, wow, oh, I almost had it. Yeah, this this getting getting two shot is not fun. But if I kill this thing, I could level up probably. You know what? Let me... I got an idea here. Let me swap gear real fast. Ever so slightly, only because the, this boosts assassination. Um, I think I want the warrior damage. Let's see. Dealt with ranged. Melee. Assassination. Okay, so I do want to keep this one. So I was actually putting myself at a disadvantage be extra careful in this area. using the other thing. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, these wolves. The thing is, the the attacks are like near instantaneous. Like they just go poop, and you're hit. Well, that's that's three. Um, at that point, I think it's time to walk away, find something else to do. We'll come back and kill these wolves later. I should try to stay out of sight. 
keep up the rule of three strikes and you're out. I'll just, I'll wait. I'll come back when I have gear and I'm not naked. And, you know, that's sometimes you just got to know when you're not, you're not uh, set up appropriately for what you're trying to do. I also don't have, you know, I'm missing a lot of shit. I should probably just go talk to Marcos. And he probably is like, hey, instead of owing you money, I decided to buy you a bunch of armor and cool shit. Cyclops Lair. Ooh, okay, this is the, the guy who kept sending people after me. This should get me some experience. Oh, shit. Oh, did I just punch him in the dick? Oh, my God, no. Oh my god. I just got punched in the face. <laughs> oh man. Alright, well, I know I said this initial video was going to go on for like an hour. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to start the quest. We're just going to start the quest. We're just going to do it. I wanted to save it, but clearly we need to get game. <laughs> We've tried to explore, but... Ultimately, we are being dragged down by the fact that our character is basically naked and attacking people with the shittiest possible <laughs> weapon imaginable. So let's go. We're gonna we're gonna talk to Marcos and we're gonna we're gonna get some, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get geared up. Here, Marcos, you owe me money. Better have my money. I keep telling you, you you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris? How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly. Everybody benefits. Luris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? Where can I find Luris? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Alexios. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Tell me about this one. The Skiros. 
You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from Thessalonia, bred for its courage. Ah, I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. Well, in that case... I made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, F. Terpy. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe's been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, bum. And level two, which means... I thought it was going to pop up with like a bunch of shit that I had now that I'm level two. Side quests, sorry bro. I will come back to you momentarily. Uh, so I know I picked up some stuff. Iron armor and assassin. Oh yeah, there we go. That boosts my warrior damage. We're just gonna jump straight into this quest because I want to rescue the kid, uh, and I should have an ability point now. Yes, leveling up. New abilities upgraded, progressively unlocked, and can eventually be upgraded. Um, so, I don't even have a bow, so let's start here. Bull Rush. Knock them down and deal 250. Knock a target back. The target won't be killed and can be recruited afterwards. Powerful attack that breaks guards. Um, or, what is this? Oh, these are baseline things. Phobos, Meditate. I have Ikiros. Assassination, Leap of Faith, Whistle, equip the second weapon from the inventory, uh, X Dodge, that the parry. I'm going for the Sparta Kick, let's be honest here. Adrenaline. Many abilities are powered by adrenaline, which is built up by landing hits, successful dodging, and parrying. Okay. There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I'm gonna Spartan kick somebody right in the face. Let me go. Shut it, or I'll tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Huh? As we'll investigate, they spot you. We'll be to crouch and become less this visible. Will keep me hidden. Yeah, we know how this works. He's gonna come close, and then we assassinate him. Let the rest of those malakas get away. Damn, Alexios! Kill the guy now. Oh! Some brutal executions! Huh? Who's there? Yeah, you better come find out. 
That Marcos is going to be next. <laughs> to get Phoebe out of here. Alexios, I'm here! Untie me! See you, kid! Shush! Treasures and shit I gotta get first. Are you alright? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just... be careful. You're alone now, since... Since my parents died? I'm okay! I've got you, and... You've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that! Don't give in! Let him have it! <laughs> got you! <laughs> Again! Yes, Bather. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Approach me! Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight, we are having baby Cassandra! <laughs> and what a feast she will be! No, not her! Take me instead, I'm tasty! Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Yeah. Lay her in bed. Yes, Pater. Alexios. So they're siblings. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. And I'm guessing that something happens and everybody but the one you chose dies. The watch will be vigilant here. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be alright if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Bounty hunters like Talos are hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down as long as you have a bounty. They can usually be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs. Talos the Stone Fist. Ooh, level 5! Mm-mm, not messing with his ass. Takes more damage from assassinations. Takes more damage from ranged attacks. Fight with Talos. Yeah, we're not doing that just yet. So, uh, we will finally wrap things up for now. So we're about an hour on in. Uh, taking a look at the map. Where was that stuff? Where, oh, I'm all the way over here. Where was that? That's where it was? Yeah, that's the cave that I couldn't knock out. Um, but obviously there's a bunch of stuff to do, so we're going to be, you know, doing more exploration, uh, head on into town, get the money, kind of get set up, all that jazz. Um, but rest assured, we will have more coming your way. Likely, I'm going to be doing three episodes per day uh, of this series, 
Monday through Friday, taking weekends off, so that'll give you guys a total of 15 episodes per week. Obviously, not every episode is going to be an hour long as this one was, but I really wanted to kind of, you know, get in and give you guys an idea of what to look forward to in terms of the gameplay and the world. So either way, thanks for coming by. Hope you guys enjoyed the first part. If you did, hit that like button. Help me out with those search analytics, especially because now I'm doing that full-time YouTube gig, which I'll have a video talking about that pretty soon. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys later with part two.